Yeah. This is for me. This is not for you. This is just for me because I've got to uh, just check off my teaching, how my teaching is going. Okay? Um, so, like, conflicts about taking the sh like taking showers. Um, um, somebody who's picking on you. Um, friends that are conflict about which movie is better. Um, um, your brother okay. to get yeah. So those are those conflicts. Those conflicts are real. Okay. I'm going to talk about one today that's, that's real also. Okay. So the learning targets we have for today are. At the end of this lesson, you can, you'll be able to summarize the history of the Arab-Israeli conflict. Um, you'll be able to identify and describe how previous conflicts affect contemporary societies, and identify how contemporary societies have been influenced by the past. The Arab-Israeli conflict is based on a very small region in the Middle East. Circle the Middle East on this map. Circle the Middle East. Circle the Middle East. Sorry, you tap on the on the pen or the highlighter and circle it.
The religious background of the Arab-Israeli conflict goes back to the story of Abraham, whom the Arabs, or Muslims, and Israelis both trace their ancestry from. Okay, who knows the story about Abraham and his son Isaac? Isaac. Okay, okay I'm gonna say it right now. Um, I'm just gonna just summarize it in the, um, excuse me, Shanmal, you're distracting. Please stop talking and throw the trash away. Okay, so let me just summarize it real quick. Um, in, in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, God promises Abraham and Sarah they're going to have a baby. The only problem is that Abraham is, is about 100 years old and Sarah is about 90 years old. He promises them they're going to have a baby. And so then a year later, um, Sarah has a baby at 90 years old. Can you imagine? <laughs> so that's, that's, what, that's how the story goes. Okay? Um, but before that, let me back up a little bit. So God promises this to Abraham. And Abraham gets really impatient because he's 100 years old and she's 90. So he thinks, well, maybe God didn't mean that. Maybe God meant for something else to happen. So this is a tradition back in those days. You could have, he had, he had more than one wife, okay? So he had, he, had, he had another wife and she got pregnant. She had a baby named Ishmael, okay? But Tuba, God, God promised, this is in the Bible, in the, uh, in the Old Testament, uh, but God promised Abraham that he and Sarah would have a baby, okay? And so that's, that's kind of how the story goes. Then, later on, God wanted to test Abraham, and so he said, take your son and sacrifice him. Okay? So this is just a story. This is just a story. And then, see where he hit this person with the wings? The angel comes to Abraham and says, stop, stop, stop. God knows that you would have carried it out. You would have done it. So instead of doing that, sacrifice this ram, this, this sheep right here. Okay? So that's just kind of the general story in the, in the Bible. Wait, that's the sheep? I better have the Okay. So, so this is, that's kind of the general story. So that, that, that's what uh, Jews and Christians have learned in the Bible, okay? So there's a little bit different thing that happens here because Arabs and Israelis both claim to be chosen, the chosen people of God based on the story of Abraham. That's number one. Thank you, Ms. Lund. Please no, jump in with that. Sorry. So Arabs and Israelis both claim to be the chosen, chosen people. The chosen people of God based on the story of whom? Abraham. 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 Okay. Abraham. So thousands of years ago, the land of Israel was promised to the people of Israel according to the Hebrew Bible. This promise was based on Abraham and his willingness to obey God and sacrifice his second-born son Isaac, whom Israelis trace their ancestry back to. Okay. All right. So we went we went past number two there. Please. So number two would be thousands of years ago, the land of Israel was promised to. Israel the people of Israel. People right? of Israel. People of Israel. According to the Hebrew Bible, like I said, this is what Christians and Jews believe. This is how the story goes. Okay? What's the next one? According uh, Let me finish that here. Okay, so now we're doing this. This will be the third one. Palestinians also claim rights to the land based on their holy book, the Quran. However, they claim their promise was based on Abraham and his willingness to obey God and sacrifice his firstborn son, Ishmael. So in the in the in the uh, Christian and the Hebrew Bible, it says that God was going or God told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. But in the Quran, it says God told Abraham to sacrifice Ishmael. So Josh? So I think they both, in uh, both religions, they have the same name, but same person. Okay. So the, the point is, is not, is not which one is the right one. The point is to see that there would be, there is conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Because the Israelis say, Abraham 
gave the promise through Isaac, and we are the children of Isaac. And the Muslims, oh, sorry, the Muslims say Abraham gave this gave the promise to through Ishmael, and we are the children of Ishmael. Okay, so there is a big, big conflict. So number three, Palestinians also claim right to land based on their holy book, their holy book the, Quran. the Quran. Got that one? Uh, Hi there. <laughs> yes. Ishmael is, well, this is before. Ishmael and Isaac, Abraham, those are all before Hebrew and uh, Arabic. This is all way, way before that. Because of these two contrary claims to the land of Israel, both groups have fought viciously over their perceived God-given rights. At the heart of this battle is Jerusalem, the capital and the most important city of Israel. Okay, so look at this here. So just to prove this, we have, this is the, this is the wailing wall, okay? This is the retaining wall that holds back the, the dirt so that the temple, back in the times of uh, Jesus and King David and Solomon, there was a huge temple that went up right here. Huge temple, okay? And it was like, it was the biggest thing in the city of Jerusalem. It was huge, okay? But then when the Romans kicked the, kicked the Jewish people out of Israel, we'll talk about that in a second, that the, the temple was all gone. All that's left is just this wall, okay? Like a wall like this, okay? And then the Muslims, they said that that this is a very holy site for them. And so they built um, a very, very famous and a very holy site for them on the same place where the Jewish temple used to be. Okay, so this is a holy place for the Jewish people and for the Muslims. So they both say this is a very, very special place for both of us, okay? The Jews say, this is ours. And the Muslims say, this is ours. Conflict. Really hard. All right. Let's see what you've learned in the background. Both Arabs and Israel. Go ahead and do this on your own, please. Fill in the, just drag the word up, fill the blanks in. Because of these 
conflict. Opposing claims, there has been conflict. Conflict. conflict over the promised land. One of the most fought over areas is the city of Jerusalem, 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 Jerusalem the capital. which is the capital of Israel. Okay, so here's an here's a ironic thing here. Jerusalem literally means city of peace. It does. And it's just, it's ironic because it's really, it's been the place that it's had so over, not just now, but over thousands of years, it's had hundreds, yeah, thousands of years, had so much, so much conflict there. Hey, you got it right. Good job. Wow. Good job. I guess that Okay. Thousands of years ago, the land of ancient Palestine was home to both Israelis and Palestinians. So Israelis settled in Palestine in the 12th century BC or BCE. That's number four. That's number four. Thank you. Um, it was what? weird. Number four. Yes. The picture like, shows like North being poverty and now North being. Like, what does it is really? Oh, she just looked. Yeah. Well, it, it shows two uh, girls an Israeli girl and a Palestinian girl. They're not impoverished. I wouldn't say she looks impoverished. But, but there's definitely differences, aren't there? Yes. Okay. So uh, the Palestinians, people of Greek origin, who settled in Palestine around the 12th century BC. So they both came to Palestine the 12th century BC or BCE. So that's about 3,000 years ago. They both those people came to Palestine. They've got that. No. About 200 years after, we go back, okay. About 200 years after the two groups settled in Palestine, the Jews created the kingdom of Israel. However, in 73 AD, the Roman, so, so this is like 40 years after the whole story of Jesus. 40 years after that, the Roman Empire conquered Palestine and forced the Jews out scattering them through the Middle East and the area around the Mediterranean Sea. This event was known as the Diaspora, a Greek word meaning scattering. The Palestinians remained in the area, intermixed with Arabs, and most eventually became Muslim. Okay, so this is a, this is a uh, freeze, is it called a freeze? Or here, this, is this called a freeze? Or a, yeah, this is a freeze that was, that was uh, carved in stone right after the, um, the, the uh, Romans kicked the Jews out. They burned the temple down. Jesus promised, he said, look at this temple. Isn't it amazing? Oh, his disciples said that. Look at this, isn't it amazing? He said, um, these stones are all coming down. And then when 73 AD, it actually happened. They burned, they burned the temple to the ground, but the wall still stood. There was a ton of gold in there, and the gold kind of trickled down the walls. It got trapped inside the stones. And so the Romans took the stones apart to get the gold out. Oh, that's cool. Can you so, find a piece of gold like 50 or less? Uh, prob you, you could, but it'd be really hard because people have been looking for stuff all the time. Yes? How old is that? This was a, this is probably around the year uh, 80, 80, maybe a few years How after this. still there? It's this carbon in stone. Yeah. It is, if you look at it closely, it, it is kind of weathered a little bit, but still, it's, it's still there. Okay? Oh, before he moves on, make sure you answer number six. What happened to the Palestinians after the Jewish diaspora? So they stayed. They stayed, and then what happened? They became Muslim. But the Palestinians, were they kicked out? No. No, they stayed. Okay. Mm. Yes. That's the it is. Okay. For thousands of years, wherever the Jews were scattered, they were mistreated. One of these instances is known as the Alcohol saw the death of over 6 million Jewish people at the hands of others who sought to systematically eliminate the Jewish race. 
What is this uh, picture of right here? Uh, uh, synagogue. There synagogue. was a, it was a special. Oh, Kristallnacht. Like, Kristallnacht, right, last year. So that, okay. Another right. crisis. Kristallnacht. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. 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 Auschwitz? That, that, might, that might be Auschwitz, yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, in other places around the world, villages, shops, and houses were destroyed in racist acts against Jewish people. Many Jews began planning to return to their homeland of Israel. So all over the world, Jewish people went around the world just to go and survive, okay? Um, they came to America, they came to Germany, they came to all over the place. And then they still have been harassed. Okay. Would so, this be an example of Zionism or anti-Semitism? Anti-Semitism. Okay. okay, thank you. So is, is anti-Semitism all done? No. No. For, for example, this is in the New York Times uh, today. This is today. Yeah. So in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, on Friday, on Saturday, day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, a uh, somebody who is anti-Semitic walked into a synagogue with a gun and killed 11, 11 Jewish people. Okay. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Oh, I heard that. 11 Jewish people. Oh, I because because they're anti-Semitic, they they think that they want to kill all the Jews, just like him. Okay. So this this is this is an example. This was in the newspaper this morning, the New York Times. Josh. So sentences describe the viewpoints of both sides in this issue. Can I put it in up here? You don't what have does to put it each in your... side desire? You have the Palestinians and you have the Jews. What does each side desire? What do they want? Just two sentences. They want
sides are claiming to be descendants of Abraham, and both sides are saying this is our land. Each side wants to have the land, and they are fighting for it. Palestinians want their land back. The Jews want to live somewhere. Want to live somewhere. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. You guys are getting it. They both want freedom. They both want a home. At the end of World War One, Great Britain took control of Palestine and issued the Balfour Declaration. This declaration proclaimed sympathy with the Jews and supported the building of a Jewish homeland in Palestine. The Palestinians, who were never forced out and never got a say in the arrangement, were understandably furious at the declaration. So the Palestinians, they they were like, the Balfour what? You know, like, you're coming to take our land? So it just, this, this immediately makes me think of how the Native Americans would have felt like when all these people from Europe were coming over. Like, yeah, welcome. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, what? You bought this land? How can you own land? Are not gonna kill me because I'm on your land? This is, we've lived here for thousands of years. Like, but guess what? Really? 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 Were, were you saying that? No, like, how the English. Oh, were you saying that's what the what the what the Europeans were saying? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what did you mean? No. Thank you, Sonia. No. What do you think you were saying? No, no. Well, I I thought that Anma was saying. Well, too bad. But he was actually saying, this is what the Europeans were kind of saying. Oh. Yeah, so this is, thank you, sorry, for helping to interpret it. Is that what that is? It is. It's, it's, like I said, this is, this is conflict. This is not just like, here's the answer. I just moved it. Yeah, and they wanted it back. Yeah, and they wanted it back. And then did they lost? Really and then they lost? Like, What's that? And then they yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. We'll talk about that in a second. Oh, wait. Okay. So, back to the, the lesson. Jews around the world, Jews around the world soon began moving back into Palestine. As this happened, tensions began to increase. As the Jews came in and set up territories, many Arab refugees were pushed off their land and into overcrowded cities where conditions caused them to become poorer and poorer. Okay, so they, when the Jews came in, they didn't just, they didn't just like, you know, like take over with tanks and stuff and say, get off. They came in and said, they came in and they found who owns this land right here? Who owns this land? Me, and they, they bought the land. Well, let's say these people over here own the land. So they oh. bought the land. How much for this land over here? And then you say like eight million dollars. Okay, Five there you go. Years. And they pay for it. Okay, so who owns the land? We own the land. Okay, Mr. So Cook. It's time for you guys to leave. This is our land now. We bought. Bye. Bye. Mr. Cook. Oh. Yeah, leave, bro. And that's that's what they did. Okay. Mr. Cook, isn't it like so all Jewish spread out? They're like changing. I bought the land. Changing. I bought the land. And they didn't even realize they bought all of it. Wait, so wait, where did they go? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. So it's, yes. Because, like, when somebody buys land, shouldn't, like, both of the people agree? Like, no, like. Shouldn't both people agree? Yes. 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 Let me just say right now. 
there is no there is no easy answer. Okay, during World War II, we had the Nazis taking over all of Europe. That was easy. It was like, who's the bad guys? They're the bad guys. With this, there is really both have done good things and both have done bad things, and it's it's really hard. You can't just go. There's the answer. Okay. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's not. It's not a. What's it called? What's that thing called? Ridiculous. Has, no. What's that thing in Harry Potter? The, 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 uh, no, the thing in, in the cupboard. What's Ridiculous. That That's what you have to say to it, but I don't remember. What's Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, oh. Ridiculous. Wait, have we interpreted it yet? Yes. What is it? Okay,